let's explore this relationship a little further. Our old friends, Lyndon, Evie and Kate, share a house together as students. Two or three times a week, they like to get takeaways, and for a number of reasons, fried chicken seems to be the common favourite. I am going to try to find how many pieces of chicken they plan to consume this week, assuming some different prices. We'll enter this information into a table, the price in column 1 and quantity of fried chicken pieces in column 2. Now I'm hoping this table will help to illustrate the relationship between price and quantity demanded, ceteris paribus, ignoring all other factors. How many fried chicken pieces do you plan to eat? That's quantity demanded, QD, this week at seven rand per piece. I don't know, two pieces? All right then, six rand a piece. Four pieces? Five rand a piece? Six pieces. At four rand? Eight pieces. Three rand? Ten pieces. Two rand? Twelve pieces. At one rand a piece? Fourteen pieces. Now, Looking at the table, what you'll see is that the lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded. And the higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. In other words, at six rand per piece, only four pieces are demanded. But at two rand per piece, 12 pieces are demanded. So this then demonstrates the law of demand in table form. So this table not only shows how much is demanded at a certain price, but also how much the quantity demanded changes if the price changes. This is important, as we'll see later. OK, we've just looked at the relationship between price and quantity demanded, illustrated in table form. Now it's time to look at this most fundamental concept illustrated as a graph. It's called the demand curve and is one of the cornerstones of all economics. Remember, though, all of this is common sense. You probably understand some of this law of demand already. It simply states, if the price of a good increases, the quantity demanded decreases. Like the table, this graph or curve will help us uncover more of the secrets behind this law. Think of it as a tool to help you visualize what's happening around you. We're going to use the information in the table to draw a demand curve showing the negative or inverse relationship between the price of fried chicken and the quantity demanded over the period of a week. Now, I suggest that you out there watching this DVD get yourself a piece of paper, ruler and a pencil and do this following exercise with us.